வணக்கம் மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் டுடே இஸ் சண்டே மார்னிங் ஸ்லோ கோல் ஒர்க் லெட்ஸ் வார்ம் அப் ஆர் வேஸ்ட் ஆர் பாடி ப்ளீஸ் கீப் லுக்கிங் அட் தி வீடியோ பிகாஸ் சம்டைம்ஸ் ஐ டோன்ட் ரிப்பீட் வாட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் ஆன் த ஸ்க்ரீன் பெண்ட் யுவர் நீஸ் டு கிராப் யுவர் ஆங்கிள் அண்ட் டு வார்ம் அப் யுவர் ஹேம்ஸ்ட்ரிங்ஸ் You are going to interlock the fingers, rotating your wrist from your strong hand to your weak hand and your weak hand to your strong hand, making a wave from your strong hand to your weak hand and your weak hand to your strong hand. Gently swing your arms to warm up our shoulders. Bringing our hands in prayer position in front of your heart. Inhale, arms up, exhale, flex forward. Inhale, right leg goes back, drop your knees, push your hips forward. Sunday morning, slow core and stretching work. You are going to stay there for 10 long breaths to open your hip flexors, to open your psoas muscles so that when we go on to doing the plank, you have these basic muscles warmed up. tucking the back toe lifting the back leg straight we are start flexing forward into pyramid pose and send your right leg back now sending the left leg back drop your knees to open your psoas on the other side You can see that my load bearing arms are straight but non load bearing arms are not straight and we go for the pyramid pose on this side I love this nature that is I love uh, that is around me I'm glad and working hard to maintain this possibility and from here we are going to bring this leg forward for uttanasana standing forward bend to open our hamstrings to relax your lower back to increase the blood flow to your body and brain to your mind and brain micro bending your knees come to a standing position tadasana and from the dasana we are going to continue with our practice inhale arms up arch back exhale flex forward inhale right leg goes back we are going to do everything twice on this video two times so that we can go deeper tuck your back toe lift your back knee up and we go for the first plank hold full arm plank hold you can see my shoulder is on top of my elbow and elbow is on top of my wrist my legs engage glutes engage my back heel is on top of my toes it's a very nice core workout arm strengthening workout நீச்சின் அஷ்ட அங்க நமஸ்காரம் எயிட் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் மை பாடி டச்சிங் த ஃப்ளோர் இட்ஸ் ஸ்லைடிங் ஆயர் செல்ஃப் இன் டு அ கோப்ரா ஃப்ரம் கோப்ரா ஐ கோ இன் டு அ ஸ்பிங் ஸ்போஸ் டு ஸ்ட்ரைட்டன் டு ஸ்ட்ரென்தன் மை லோவர் பேக் அண்ட் அட் த சேம் டைம் டு ஸ்ட்ரெச் மை கோர் மசில்ஸ் தட் ஐ வாஸ் ஹோல்டிங் இன் ஃப்ரம் ஹியர் ஐ கோ ஃபார் த சைட் பிளாங்க் again with my bent elbow you see that my shoulder is on top of each other my hips are as i as possible my legs are on top of each other if this is not possible you are welcome to keep the legs bit staggered so that you don't lose your focus from your uh, obliques stay there for as long as needed i am holding for 10 to 15 breaths obliques forms an important part of the core muscles it's not only the front the side and the back 
and we go for the other side. Try to keep the shoulder blades as engaged as possible. The vision can be just looking up to the thumb or to the side and from here I am dropping my both elbows for elbow plank. Working on core on all the sides, we strengthen our lower back using spings, side obliques, full arm plank and, and we are in and drop the knees, plant the palms into sphinx pose this is to strengthen your lower back and also to stretch our rectus abdominis transverse abdominis tucking the back toe lifting the hips up and coming on to your all four and from here i'm going to lift my right leg up sending the right leg to the outside of your right palm for lizard lunge the beginner version I'm moving gently front and back to gently warm up my hips drop my back knee straighten my front leg for a beautiful hamstring stretch this is a staple in my practice because we are all are dealing with tight hamstring due to our sitting in our stairs and work left leg goes to the sky sending the left leg to the outside edge for high lunge on the other side dropping the back knee and pushing the hips forward here i forgot to stretch my hamstring so you stop the video and you do the hamstring stretch and from here I jump through to go for Navasana for 10 counts. This is beginner level core. Today is Sunday morning. So I'm from there I go for Ardha Navasana or we call the hollow body plank. And then I go for dynamic between full Navasana and Ardha Navasana for 4 five six seven eight that is round one we are going to go for round two you can see it i'm just sweating you can always jump back or walk back chadaranga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog and we begin with the plank full arm plank breathe remember to engage your glutes engage your shoulders engage your legs knee chest and chin ashta anga namaskaram sliding ourselves into a cobra from cobra to sphinx Preparing slowly for the side plank when it is time. This is round two. I'm lifting my top leg off the mat. This is increases the core work. If that is not possible, you don't have to do it. And we are doing this for 10 counts or five counts or 15 counts, whatever is available for you. And we arrive into elbow plank and I'm dropping the hips to both the sides to work on my core. If this is not available for you, don't worry too much about it. Dropping the knees down. 
in modified springs as this is modified because my palms are together from there to go to full springs and from there I push myself up into cobra jump through for going into navasana for the second time five four three two and one ardha navasana for six five four and we go for the dynamic version sorry about the counting there You can see I'm just struggling to finish the round two. We are going to complete the session by doing few asanas in this series. Let's go for Ardhanavasana of boat and full boat dynamic version. From dynamic version as many as possible we are going to lift the legs up into Purna Navasana, lift yourself up for 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Bring the arms in, push yourself into full plank. From full plank, we are going to go on to the right side for an extended angle oblique plank. From there we go for the other side. Try to keep engaging your body as much as possible. And from here we go for three legs, three modified plank. I'm challenging myself by lifting the leg off the floor. If this is possible for you, please do it. If it's not possible, it's not the end of the world. downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana I'm sweating like a crazy person we go for a complete um, to calm down to calm down I'm using lizard stretch first with my full arm and then I drop my into half this allows me to cool down since it is a short practice. I am not going to go for inversions but you can always do few inversions once you uh, finish the practice. Now we go back to the plank and we go for Ashwasanchalasana twist for the few times and then we go for lizard stretch. From lizard stretch, we are going to go for knee chest chin, inhale up, exhale down, jump or walk to a sitting position to complete this practice. I am going to complete this practice by doing few minutes of meditation so that you can relax your body relaxing your mind enjoy the sounds of nature that was available for me close your eyes and walk through this forest with me this really keeping your eyes closed stay as long as needed for you a complete practice of both working on your body and with your mind
gently bringing our hands in anjali mudra thank yourself for taking time for yourself and let's see you when i see you thank you my friends